I'm James Molesworth, senior editor at Wine Spectator and in charge of our restaurant awards program, now in its 26th year. This year we received nearly 4,000 entries and while some of them have a few thousand selections on them like we saw at Veritas, we actually have a very broad range of restaurants in the program with just a few hundred selections at most and sometimes even less. We're at one of those restaurants today here at Anissa in the West Village on Barrow Street and I'm sitting with Jennifer Schism who is the owner and wine director. Thanks for joining me Jennifer. Thank you. The restaurant opened in 2000. You won your first award of excellence from Wine Spectator in 2004. Mm -hmm. How is the list changed since the, the day you opened till today? I've been able to get some of the allocations that I always wanted before. Mm -hmm. some, some wines actually I had to apply for, which I thought was sort of interesting. So I like sent getting in, your kid into private school, right? Yeah, yeah, I had to submit a wine list mm -hmm. and menus, and uh, uh, which was fine. I mean, I, I sort of went through the hurdles. Your wine list has about 90 selections on it. Right. And you've chosen to focus on wines that are made by women or from wineries that are owned by women. Why right. did you take that uh, tact with your wine list? We wanted to uh, focus on women in business. Uh, the restaurant is named Anissa. Anissa means women in Arabic. Mm -hmm. So it just made a logical choice. Um, and also, being that I was new to wine, I thought that rather than bringing it open to so many selections, this way I could have a focus. And through the years, we've been open six years now, I haven't decided to change that. I really like having a focus. I like meeting the people. You know, I love wines f for themselves, but then once you meet somebody and you develop a relationship, then it becomes even more um, special. Uh, you feel like the wine tastes better when you know the person who makes it? Yeah. 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 So that personal connection is really important into yeah, what Yeah, I think it's I think that's sort of the fundamental thing that we're trying to bring at Anissa as well. You can come and have a meal or you can come and not that I'm going to be invasive on your dinner, but if you want to talk to me, I will talk to you. Mm -hmm. You you will have a personal connection here at the restaurant. It's not um, your normal New York restaurant. And that's how I feel about the wines. When diners come into Anissa and you know, they're looking for wines and they get your wine list for the first time, uh, what's their first reaction? Are they sort of uh, lost a little bit? Uh, they have any recognition uh, with, with wines on the list? How much hand-holding do you have to do? Not a tremendous amount. Uh, I think literally the, the um, physical menu is able to open up to the entire list so you can see it in a whole. Um, several, you know, most lists in town you flip through and you're constantly kind of going back and forth. This you can just sort of put it out like a map and look at it, mm -hmm. which I think is nice. Um, and I think some people then play the game of recognition of I know this, I know that. A, a woman last night wanted a specific wine and I went to pour it in the glass and she said, no, 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 just pour the... I said, no, no, you're going to know if you like it. And she said, no, I don't know anything about wine. So she tried it and she didn't like it and she got a different glass. I think people don't give themselves enough credit. You will know if you like it. Well, Jennifer, thanks for joining me and telling me about the wine program at Anissa. It was nice to meet you. And Thank you. Thanks. Pleasure.